making stuff and welcome to the part 3 of making a figure. Uh, this time we are looking at body finishing and doing some Arduino coding. Enjoy! Alright, as you can see I've painted all the parts. Um, I did a couple of layers of just a regular spray white and uh, sand it between each layer and then I um, put a clear coat on top of it and uh, it came out pretty smooth there's well there's some uh, harsh shadows you can see it, there's some kind of bumpiness and uh, maybe with more time and effort I could have maybe get rid of those but um, it's good enough for me they look pretty nice and shiny uh, especially this this arm came out pretty pretty good as you can see with the light reflection wobbles a bit it's telling that it's not perfectly smooth but um, I don't think that I could have got that that much better with my tools and skills so uh, I'll I'll leave at it at here but we have the mold I cracked open the uh, pirate thingy and uh, uh, trimmed away the some some leaked uh, silicon on here, but I haven't checked out the um, actual cast there, and uh, I decided to keep it uh, in the tape roll because um, I think that it's better if the mold is supported as uh, as well as this because it's pretty much stuck there. Uh, that way the mold won't uh, uh, lose its shape when it's out so I'm keeping the tape roll on it for uh, at least for the casting part um, I'm hoping that this will pop out uh, I used uh, this kind of I think it's some kind of wax but it's it's supposed to um, is the yeah it says the form separating wax so it's supposed to ease the uh, or make it easier to get the uh, casting thing out hopefully it works yeah let's check it out um, maybe if I just push push from here at the bottom yep popping up come on sweet and there's the cast looks okay pretty smooth mm. it's not completely perfect but neither was my my mold piece Maybe I should have painted this one just to um, get rid of the final final dents and things there. Hmm. Oh well, it's done now. So I guess the next part is to pour some clear resin there. That is this stuff here same thing uh, same brand as the silicon it's art idea XOR crystal polyester hearts polyester resin it's supposed to be clear so I hope that it's it is really cl clear and uh, not any kind of hazy or milky substance 
yeah, let's let's see. All right, while the resin is curing, and actually it's not looking too good at the moment, or it just takes some time. It looks pretty runny. Well, we'll see how it goes. Well, I thought that we could take a look at the electronic parts. Um, I'm using uh, Arduino to drive a couple of uh, uh, LED matrices to serve as the eyes of the eve. Um, and uh, I got these uh, I2C LED backpacks from from Adafruit Industries and uh, they provided this code to drive uh, to drive the matrices. It's pretty simple. Um, it's open source hardware and uh, people do crazy stuff with it. So um, the guys at Adafruit were kind enough to uh, give these. Um, Example packages that I just um, modified a bit. I really can't code that much. I barely can read it, and uh, let alone write anything. So this is really simple stuff. If I can do it, um, basically they provide the info of um, how to plug the LED backpacks to to the Arduino. So they're setting the clock is coming to analog port 5, data analog 4, ground to common ground, and uh, power to 5 volts power. And the actual code is uh, not that long. Um, it's really simple. Uh, I guess they are including some uh, go code libraries at the start and um, um, this is the. We are going to animate the the eyes. It's eight by eight small LEDs that we can determine uh, which LEDs are on and which are off. And we are doing it with this code. Um, what you see here is this is kind of the one of the matrices. And uh, uh, at this point, they are uh, none of the LEDs are lit. The zero here means that this is the eight by eight grid, and uh, zero means that it's off. And for example, here we see that there's a like a circle made of ones. So when it's um, one, it's on, and to demonstrate uh, more easily what it looks like, I did a Photoshop thing. So this is the grid here, and uh, basically um, now these are like uh, turned off, so they are zeros, and uh, the way we lit things up is by tagging. Uh, the LEDs, LEDs with uh, one. So this way we turn them on, and now uh, we can do uh, some kind of pattern here. Oh. I'll just scale the brush to make it more quick. Mm. Not sure. My exact pixels were, but you get the idea. Mm. Maybe something like this. No, it's not perfect, but yeah, maybe this is better. Yeah, that's more round. And um, 
coming back to the code, code I have here we are determining um, like a different frames of the animation um, so uh, I th uh, what I think about doing this is um, when you turn on the power of the figure the, the uh, Eva kinda wakes up and uh, the eyes lit up and uh, after that she starts to blink for eternity and um, so here we have like um, um, the wake up sequence so it starts small and that uh, grows 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 and it's fully open here so that's pretty close to this and um, so then there's a couple of um, animation frames of the closing thing so basically she's blinking and then um, this kind of set of things uh, the code thing does and um, uh, the backslashes are kind of comments that you can write anything down there and um, um, basically we are saying that the, the clear the matrix and uh, I'm setting the brightness to zero and uh, here we are drawing the the pattern actually and uh, and uh, this is the the frame that we are using you see the the clear BMP and uh, these are the like um, the the grid uh, and um, then we are writing it on the display and uh, delaying it for 500 milliseconds that's uh, half a second and uh, once it gets through this it jumps to the next one and uh, we are doing the same thing raising up the brightness a bit and uh, doing the wake up frames and uh, they are delayed by 50 milliseconds so um, it's first uh, uh, half a second uh, dark and uh, then it's uh, waking up like uh, closing eyes uh, opening eyes and um, the um, brightness is uh, getting more intense and after that once it's done with the starting things and waking up it starts a loop and uh, um, the loop works basically um, it runs through all this code, jumps back to the um, start of the loop and that uh, continues for infinity or at least when the power turns off. So I did a um, couple of uh, different uh, blinking patterns uh, with uh, kind of uh, different timing on the delays here at the start. Um, just to give some variation to the uh, blinking frequency and um, that's how simple it is so far um, I'm thinking of it that it would be cool to uh, get some voice there with the Eva saying her name or, or Wally's name or something like that um, I have to figure out how to do it first but uh, I'm sure it can be done in here so next we could actually look how the um, LED backpacks are set up. Let's go. Zoop.